Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, I'm down here in Merritt Island again and giving some estimates. We've done so much work in this particular neighborhood, so I stopped by to take a look at one of the jobs we installed several years ago. And the woman has got her house up for sale, and she said, Chuck, thank you. This drain is working so good. We have had no problems, and even the prospective buyers have commented on how well the drain works. Take a look. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're down here in Merritt Island, um, Cocoa Beach, Florida. Interesting little problem, something the homeowners could definitely do themselves. Not a real hard job. Um, but what's been happening here is you can see their pool. You see the lanai, that's the screen enclosure. And water's been flooding in this area really bad. And you can see what's happening underneath of their pool patio. It's just eroded so bad underneath of here, it actually goes all the way over to the pool wall. Water has been collecting in this low spot from not only this yard, but the yards behind her as well. And it just pours down through here. And of course it's been eroding underneath of this and, and this is gonna crack. It already has cracks in it. We wanna stop that. So this is why you need to put this typical drain in. And what we're going to do is put a French drain with a couple of catch basins. Remember, a French drain is perforated pipe surrounded by gravel. We're going to encase that in fabric. That will run between here and back where Dan's laying out the tarps. We're going to put a sump pump over here because this is Florida and it's very, very flat to send things out to the street. So we're going to actually lift the water up. It'll come all the way around. Very typical, a long discharge but the good Zoller M53 will easily push this water around and of course it's going to go out to the front yard. We're not going to go all the way to the street because there is fall after you get past the fence it starts to go downhill over there. So we have our trench dug for the French drain. Now we're going to lay some geofabric down in the trench and then we'll set some gravel down under you know on the bottom of the trench our perforated pipe more gravel and then we'll cover that with the fabric and then cover up the area. Remember this is the low spot between two yards and we need this French drain to collect the water but we also need those catch basins. So basically we're just using a soil separator to keep our gravel contained and remember sand is much different than clay we add catch basins to every French drain. That is so important to make sure that you collect the immediate surface water runoff. Catch basins are different than downspout drains and you can add them directly to your French drain. So now we're just backfilling. You can see this line starts with a catch basin. Remember why we're putting it in here because this area has been flooding and it's been eroding. You can see the erosion over there on the, the pool lanai patio. It's hollow all the way to this pool wall. So it's all from this flood. Basically, catch basin, gravel perforated pipe. People call it a French drain. Another catch basin. Then we change the solid pipe, and that runs into the sump pit. That's going to collect all this water back here in the backyard. Humid out here. <laughs> okay, we're ready to go ahead and put our pump down in the pit. You can see our pit right here. We're going to set our M53 down in the bottom, kind of square it up in the center. Next, we're going to cut a little piece of inch and a half pipe, and then we're going to turn it, and we're going to core a two inch hole through here. This hole is for the downspout and a catch basin coming, bringing water in here. Remember, this side is the French drain. This pump will handle all of that, no problem. This pump pumps between 60 and 80 gallons a minute, um, depending on the head, which means how far and high it's pushing it. Because we're pushing it about 150 feet, it's probably only gonna pump about 45 to 50 gallons a minute, more than enough. I mean, that's a trash can and a half full of water every minute that comes out of this pump. So let's go ahead and cut a little piece here, and then we'll put the 90 on, and we'll find the measurement over here and we'll drill a two inch hole. So now we glue up our inch and a half PVC, line up your pump, 
and push and hold. And that's ready to go. So we've already glued this small insert, tightened up all the clamps. And you can see our inch and a half is gonna come out. So you can see how the inch and a half PVC discharge lays out. And we're gonna trench that, put that underground. It'll discharge to a pop-up out in the front. Okay, so we're pretty much done. We've covered things up. Let's take a look. The line starts here at a small six by six catch basin. This picks up, let me step back. This picks up all this groundwater that comes down here from this section of the yard and around. It all travels down and around and comes through. It also picks up the neighbor's yards and their downspout drains because they're all pointing back this direction. So little catch basin, that's for the surface water. Then we've got gravel perforated pipe underneath that sod. That's the French drain that collects the subsurface water. Another catch basin to help pick it up solid pipe into our sump pit remember we've got a zoller m53 down in that pit so now we've got solid pipe coming from this downspout over here and <clears throat> picks up that roof all of that roof comes down comes through that downspout we've added that line we also added a catch basin here because this patio slopes so dramatically this direction and water is getting trapped here as well. So that picks up more surface water over to the pump. We've also got our inch and a half pipe running underground all the way out here to the front. And I'll show you where that discharges. We're just cleaning up our material and we'll be making out a bill here and we're pretty much all done. We'll blow the area off and it'll look really good. But you can see how far this line comes out and right here we've put a pop-up because from here we've got good gravity that'll let this water run all the way out to the street out there to the curb where their storm drains are supposed to pick it up hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day